What happens when we do strong breath holding in the oxygen advantage? Oxygen advantage breath holds always follow an exhalation. Why is that? We have the individual breathe in, breathe out and hold their breath. By breathing out the functional residual capacity and normal breath out, we're more likely to cause a hypoxic effect. We're also more likely to have a stronger increase to carbon dioxide. So that's why it's intermittent, hypoxic, hypercapnic training. It's breath holding following an exhalation. If we breathe in and hold the breath, we're less likely to create a hypoxic effect because you breathe in, you hold your breath, your lungs are full of air, and you have all that oxygen in the lungs to pass into the blood before you notice that the blood oxygen saturation drops. So during a breath hold, we're deliberately reducing oxygen delivery to the cells. We're lowering blood oxygen saturation in the blood. As a result, the hydrogen ion that's coming from the cell doesn't get oxidized because there's not sufficient oxygen during the breath hold. So that hydrogen ion will associate with pyruvic acid to form lactic acid. And lactic acid then will dis disassociate into hydrogen ion and lactate. So we have an increased hydrogen ion due to the hypoxic effect. But also with carbon dioxide on the other hand, we're deliberately increasing CO2 in the blood. Carbon dioxide in the blood is going to form carbonic acid, and then carbonic acid will dissociate into hydrogen ion and bicarbonate. So we have a hydrogen ion coming from the increased carbon dioxide, and we have a hydrogen ion coming from the drop to blood oxygen saturation. So it's almost that it's a double hydrogen ion effect. And this is disturbing the blood acid base balance. And this is forcing the body to improve the buffering capacity. Where is that increase or improvement of buffering capacity probably happening? It may be happening inside in the muscle compartment. So inside in the muscles, there's proteins, phosphates, and to a lesser extent bicarbonate, which is responsible for buffering. If we can improve the buffering capacity inside in the muscle, it means that the hydrogen ion then will accumulate more slowly in the blood. And this is where we can delay lactic acid and fatigue. Improve your anaerobic capacity, improve your buffering capacity.